so that is the most important thing so i try to put all of the things which made my resume so it can make my resume stand out of the other applicants because there are good chances if you are going to encounter these problems in your interview and i am working as a software engineer at service now and today in this video we are going to talk about how do i become a job ready programmer in 3 months uh, so first of all you'll have to get a strategy in your mind which company you are targeting for okay and what are the preparation that you have needed so we are going to demystify all those things in this video so for example if you want to get study or get started with how do you become a job ready programmer in 3 months you should have a good command over one programming language and have good command over data structures and algorithms that is problem skills especially if you are targeting any product based company because a product based company is always looking for a good problem solver right other things like for example you could be a good full stack developer you could be a good ethical hacker or you could be a good data scientist you could be a good machine learner but they do not want that or i i should i should say they do not want that but i am saying that they do not focus much on your development skills because uh, development is like uh, they can teach you right but uh, the problem solving skills for example if you encounter a new problem what are the challenges or what is the way that you take or how do you approach a problem so that's the more or the core problem uh, core thing that they focus upon that is problem solving skills and uh, data structures and algorithms that is dsa helps uh, us in developing that problem solving skills so you should focus upon that too and coming to that part uh, i would suggest you consider okay you have a you have chosen a language do not get into this dilemma that uh, which programming language you should choose c c++ python java nothing to worry upon uh, you can choose any one but if i share my experience so i chose the c++ and then got my concepts clear under in, in the 15 days because i already studied c++ in one of my semester so there was uh, not much of effort required by me so i just cleared my concept i just brushed up my concepts regarding pointer or class objects concepts because there is also uh, nowadays low level designing lld or uh, questions based upon class based or object based are uh, asked so that's why you have to uh, get uh, concepts like inheritance what is polymorphism and these things so i chose c++ and after that i moved to learning uh, data structures and algorithms so i first of i begin with recursion linked list uh, uh, arrays trees graphs dynamic programming hash map so what i did i didn't actually uh, try to master each topic so what i did consider uh, i tried to do at least uh, if i am solving for each data structure if i am able to solve or if i am learning 10 problems new and solving 10 problems by myself consider i am practicing 20 problems on one data structures and if consider there are 10 data structures so that 20 multiplies by 10 how much 200 so 200 or 250 i could say because there were also uh, some time where i was giving contest and uh, i was learning uh, new algorithms as well hi there before we proceed further in the video i would like to inform you that coding ninjas has come up with a scholarship test called cnsat if you participate in this test you can avail up to 100% scholarship on any course at coding ninjas it can be dsa web development product company interview preparation and even data science and many more courses so if you want to participate click on the link in the description below or the pin comment and participate now happy learning guys so what i did consider if i am starting with recursion so i know that okay recursion how can you start applying recursion to the things then i begin with linked list some basic problems how to reverse a linked list palindrome of a linked list adding two list as a as a number in the linked list right and then of course beginning with the tree so basic questions the in the tree graph that you should be of course familiar with it because it really helps you because there are good chances if you are going to encounter these problems in your interview so you could say most asked questions or uh, or, or the basic questions ones so after i was comfortable with my 250 questions around 250 300 questions then i began moving with my development part because it shouldn't be like because when you'll be submitting your resume in the company right that's the most crucial thing so there will be tons of shortlisting going up on that why should they choose your resume because that's another question by many of the students that they are not sure why their resume is not selected uh, respective of all the skills they have they do have on the resume so you have to make sure that uh, your resume or you should you can stand out of all the other applicants who are applying to the same job and how can you do that so how did i begin with that so of course the, this was the first check okay like i should be good in problem solving skills and of course after that 250 to 300 problems and what i was doing i was practicing on different coding platforms either being read code or being code studio so trying to get as much as contest because if you won't give contest then in the last because you know that 
any company or apply any company being a fang based company or a product based company or a startup or service based company the first round is oa that is online assessment round and in the online assessment round you'll have to compete among so many of other candidates right and that too like for example you'll have to solve uh, two questions in one hour or 15 minutes or 1.5 hours sometimes three questions in 1.5 hours sorry. so there could be the another possibility you'll have to so how are you going to handle or cope up with that pressure at, at the moment of when you'll be giving the uh, online assessment huh? so that's how i begin with i will try to give as much as coding context because uh, that helped me really well in grasping all the concepts and after the con after giving the contest if i wasn't able to solve that question or if i wasn't able to get the logic or the algorithm behind it then i tried to go to the blog and try to watch the solution or the submissions of other candidates so that is the most important thing uh, also uh, whenever you are learning because sometimes this uh, people say that okay they are able to learn the algorithms but they are not able to apply or the that algorithm okay like for example here this question could be solved by shorting and then you could have been applied binary search or this could have been done by merge short so how, how do you get the intuition right so you get the intuition or, or should i specifically say patterns so pattern building happens by the more number of questions you see or the approaches you see so it's not about mugging up the concepts and something like that you actually have to understand the algorithm that how is it working and how you can apply it it's not about only learning but applying to the other questions whenever you see that kind of questions as well so pattern is really important in that thing so other part what would be the other part the other part would be uh, that i will suggest you that do not make your mind okay you learn from videos only no because you are going to be a software engineer and it's possible that you are not going to find a solution for every problem you are going to encounter you'll have to re read from the documentation from editorials learn from blogs as well so that is a really good habit and discussion form is an awesome thing especially if you go to the lead code and the code student where you can see the approaches of other people that how because i know that a problem can be solved in multiple ways so that's that's a tons of brainstorming or learning right so that's a way and after the discussion i was also discussing the same thing with my friend so the brainstorming part is also really important where you get to interact with your friends and can discuss i should say healthy discussion about it okay like okay he was able to solve the problem in this way and i could have also uh, done that so brainstorming really helps you and uh, and develops your mind over uh, new challenges so you can face new challenges and another part was of course the development part that i was saying so development part you should also be good at least if you are doing a, a web development machine learning but at least you should have one to two good projects it doesn't matter that you will have to bring a bring a new topic or something like that no but at least there are some uh, projects either you can make uh, either uh, to your projects you can bring traffic or user base like some some people are using it right or if you have made a uh, app then it should be on the play store if you have made a website then it should be on deployed somewhere so someone could check it out and uh, otherwise the other thing could be if it could make social impact or, or maybe you could make such kind of apps which can actually help or people can actually use that so that would be a positive impact other than that if you have been because i was also practicing on coding platforms different coding platform so i was also into competitive programming so uh, although i shouldn't say but uh, uh, there's nothing to brag about but uh, i have four star on code chef so i was doing in that and code forces i don't want to reveal that uh, because that's not good that's not good rating but i was on two different coding platforms and uh, i tried to attach that coding profiles on my resume also right so these were the things that helped me to stand out of the things because i was also writing articles i was also into open source programs i also participated in open source programs so i tried to put all of the things which made my resume so it can make my resume stand out of the other applicants so that's the main thing and another part would be coming to that if you are done with dsa part so now you should really focus on computer fundamentals dbms operating system networking right i mean of course you are going to be a software engineer and how can you think of uh, uh, be becoming a software engineer without having a good command on computer fundamentals so you should i'm not saying that you should be very proficient but you should have a good command or basic knowledge about what are the asset properties in dbms how can you make the sql queries any other database that you have interacted maybe a firebase maybe mongodb mysql anything that will work so that this will be my advice and another crucial advice would be to go through the different interview experiences because there are tons of chances if a question has been asked in in microsoft in an amazon a number of times then maybe you can if you are lucky then you are also going to face the same question 
and of course you also get to know the trend like okay these are the questions are uh, like for example nowadays okay google is being asked questions related to mostly graphs and dy- dynamic programming so you can understand the pattern pattern wise okay like these are the topics that you can uh, focus on so i will really suggest you to go through the different interview experiences because that really helps you at the last and the last moment practice i hope uh, i was able to answer your question so hope you will crack a decent company that's all from my side me you guys signing off thank you hi there we hope you liked the video and had fun learning i would like to inform you that coding ninjas has come up with a scholarship test called cnsat if you participate in this test you can get up to 100% scholarship on any course at coding ninjas it can be dsa web development product companies interview preparation and even data science and many more courses so if you want to avail this opportunity click on the link in the description below or the pin comment and participate in the test now happy learning guys